just as expected, he's right where we left him. This is the Galapagos giant tortoise. Quite simply, the largest tortoise species in the world. Just how big is big? More than 600 pounds and four feet long. No wonder they're going nowhere fast. The giant tortoises have been around for millions of years. They are, in fact, the world's longest living animals, with an average lifespan of well over 100 years. Come to think of it, maybe we should get him a wheelchair. Old or young, tortoises are slow moving all around, averaging a speed of less than half a mile an hour. But they do have great stamina and can cover very long distances if need be. For now, these tortoises are content right where they are, chomping away on nutrient-rich greenery. With keen eyesight and a great sense of smell, they are very good at finding food. And through the two tiny openings on each side of their head, they sense any changes in vibration or pressure, which could mean a predator is approaching. Also called a carapace, the primary purpose of the large tortoise shell is for protection. Whenever the animal feels threatened, it pulls its head and neck into the carapace. Its legs are covered with hard scales that act like an armor. Tortoises have adapted the shape of their carapace based on where they live. The saddle-shaped shells live on the coastal lands where they can eat from low shrubs. The larger dome-shaped shells live in the highlands where they feed on grasses and plants. Didn't anyone ever teach you to chew with your mouth closed? Well, excuse you, what manners? I wouldn't want to have this tortoise over for dinner. All tortoises are herbivores, eating only plants. They usually get their moisture from the dew in the vegetation. But nothing beats a nice cold drink at the local watering hole. Well, except maybe an afternoon mud bath. Not only is this a good way to help regulate body temperature, but it's also a protection for mosquitoes and ticks. So what does a tortoise do about the stubborn, hard to reach ticks? Well, he calls upon a little friend. That's right. This little finch has a symbiotic relationship with this big tortoise. In exchange for picking off ticks from the tortoise's skin, the bird gets an easy snack. Other birds may use the top of a tortoise as a brief rest stop from where they have a good view of any predators. The tortoise don't really have any natural predators on the island. However, they may fight amongst themselves to establish who the ranking male is. They will rise up on their legs and stretch their necks out to prove who is more dominant. The smaller tortoise will back off leaving the larger male to mate with the female. This tortoise actually got flipped over and the surrounding males are nipping at him. Talk about bullies. Did you know that tortoises are reptiles? They share certain key characteristics with snakes, lizards, and crocodiles. The most important trait among reptiles is that they are all cold-blooded. No, that doesn't make them mean. They just can't warm up their body temperature from the inside. Instead, they get their warmth from the outside. That's why reptiles love to sunbathe. 